class add student so this is the file uh, it looks like this so i will try to run and load the excel file then it will do certain things as per the code i'm going to go to the terminal or in windows it's called the command prompt then you type in this command called tech ui then followed by the file name so it will run the browser that is especially tailored for tech ui okay it will go to sls okay then it will go to the otp email and then try to click this otp out <coughs> and it will store it as a variable called otp then it will go back to sls and key in the otp code and then it will now do the automation for the population of the teachers as students so you will click on the view okay then it will add student then it will add the teacher as student so it's clicking step by step so you normally you have to do this manually if you don't have a robotic process automation so you have to click a few clicks like click on the all school then go to the icon for the magnifying glass then type in the email then find the, the, the teacher via the email if it doesn't exist <coughs> it will come out and then try to add another time another student and, and so forth so it's, it's doing this as long as there's a correct teacher then it will insert the correct email and then select the correct uh, box but all this is being done automatically by the by the script now. Oh, so okay so this is undefined because in the excel i did not define any more names so once it is done i'm going to i'm going to stop it <coughs> let me see whether i can run it for a while longer but basically it is looping through all the names that is in the excel which is in this excel uh, i mean i can't show you because probably there is some emails of officers so <coughs> this is this is what it's doing like it's, it's loading the file from the excel and then i want to check by doing an echo and then see what's the data and visit the sls page if the particular button is present then you will click on the button you'll wait for five seconds then you'll key in uh, the code uh, you'll go to this url which is the gmail and then you will wait for five seconds and then click on this particular email with this particular otp and then echo out the code which is the otp then i'll go back to sls and then key in type in the otp as code and then it will then submit the click then it is going to do all this code it basically is just lines and lines of, of stuff then so sometimes tech ui is very clever you can just write very simple like click add student then which is the button then it will wait one second sometimes you need to wait because <clears throat> the rpa is actually mimicking human action so if the browser hasn't load the pages so sometimes you need to wait a while in order for it to be fully loaded and visible to to, to be clicked on the next time so it basically it is doing all this so these are all command lines you can ignore them because in the course of building the code i need to troubleshoot so i will comment out all this so this is if the pre if this is a press if this thing is present then you will click all these things then if it is not present which means that if this teacher email is the the radio box is not found then it will simulate as if like i will click on the on the uh, reverse button which is the arrow left so in this very quick tutorial you can see that it's actually possible to use tech ui to quickly create a class a group of students in a, a group of teachers in a class uh, which is a lot, 100 over students 100 over teachers in a, in a particular sls group right? so normally it, it will take a very long time to click through all this manually uh, but with tech ui you can actually automate all this uh, ju just by recycling my code you can actually repurpose it for your own usage